Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallace hier. Ich äh, wollte nur ein paar Übungen mit euch heute machen. Just wanted to do a few exercises with you. Äh, was wir machen werden, ist, ich werde euch die Fragen geben, so wie hier zum Beispiel. Und dann, äh, du kannst das Video stoppen. Und wenn du bereit, die Antworten zu hören bist, dann mach das Video wieder an. So, we're gonna try this. So, if you don't want to... Uh, if you want to try these exercises on your own, it's basically fill in the blank um, and then I will give you the answers. So stop the video now if you want to work on them yourself. Okay, so here come the Antworten. D. Die Schülerin ist intelligent and freundlich. The reason this is D is because Schülerin is a feminine noun and one way to always tell feminine nouns is they end in I-N, especially when it comes to occupations or what someone's doing. In this case, it's a female student. Ah, da ist das Essen. Guten Appetit. This is a wish, so we're going to use Guten Appetit. Dieses Buch ist besonders gut. Wir haben einen neuen Deutschlehrer, er heißt Herr Grimm. Uh, the reason why this is einen is Deutschlehrer is the direct object, so it's accusative case. And as discussed in previous videos, masculine nouns in the accusative will change to der, will change to den. But if you're saying a, it will be einen. And uh, this also is reflected in the adjective neu after it, neuen. Wo sind meine Schuhe? Ich kann sie nicht finden. And just one note, whenever you're using a modal verb, kann, muss, vo uh, wollen, or sollen, or mögen, that other verb is going to be at the end, in this case, finden. Monika ist mit einem ganz neuen Auto zur Schule gefahren. Um, if it is a verb that indicates motion from one place to another, instead of using haben as a helping verb in the perfect tense, it's going to use a form of sein. And even though in English we may translate it as has, Monica has, gone to school with a new car. Um, in German it's going to be sein, so it's literally ist. Du, Gerd, mach bitte die Tour zu. Sie ist weit offen. We can refer back to the Tour with Sie because the Tour is a feminine noun. So we refer back to that in the nominative with Sie. Hier, Tobi, das Buch ist für dich. So that's just a matter of knowing that preposition. Okay, here comes a new group. Here comes a new group. Here comes another group. So, if you don't want the answers, you want to try them, stop the video. Here comes the answer. Ich habe großen Hunger. Was gibt es zum, es zum Mittagessen? Es gibt is a way of saying there is or there are. It's a little bit hard sometimes for English learners to grasp because for us we think it means it gives. But it means there is or there are. If you're writing a letter you want to say, and if it's a guy you'll say lieber, lieber Peter. If it was a girl it would be lieber. Hallo Inga, ich habe dich lange nicht gesehen. Warst du im Urlaub? Berlin ist größer als München. Du, das blonde Mädchen da drüben, ist meine Cousine. Mädchen is any time a word ends in Shen, C-H-E-N, it's more than likely a das word. Ich fahre schnell, aber Tim fährt schneller als ich. And if we want to say which, um, assignments stand are on page 37. We're going to use welche Aufgaben stehen auf Seite 37. And the reason it's welche is because Aufgaben is uh, plural. So we say welche, if it had been a das word, would be welches. And if it had been a masculine noun, it would have been welcher. So, ich hoffe, dass das informativ war. I hope that was informative. Und vielen Dank.